I've been working on this sticker sheet um, with a few items related to traveling. So hopefully that time can come soon again. <laughs> but yeah, I like how it turned out. I also included the pink bear from my previous stickers. So let's print it and cut it and see how they look. This is how they turned out. And I like it. I also added the coffee bears in there. The ice and the hot coffee. So, yep. This is the size. So yeah, it looks good. I also printed out the um, pink and the blue bears. I only had them as die cut stickers, but I thought it would also be nice to have them as a sticker sheet so that, you know, if you want both of them in a smaller size, you can have them. So I'm going to cut these and then also make some sticker sheets out of the coffee bear stickers. So, yeah, let's get started. So this is how they turned out. I'm not quite sure if I like them because like as you can see some of them the cuts are within the bears and there's some white part here, here and there as well. So um, I might try to add some more color around the borders with like the pink and the yellow and the blue. So that even though it does cut, like, it wouldn't have any white marks. So, yeah, I might try that out. And for the coffee bear, I might put, like, a white border around them. Same with the coffee. And then try to cut them out like that. So, yeah, let's try that. For the coffee bears, I made two types. So one with just the coffee, iced coffee and hot coffee, and the other one with like half coffee and half the bears. Like here, it's a little bit off because this white is more um, like bigger, wider than the right side. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me or... Well, actually, it's not just me. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos, but like the camera is really light sensitive. So if it's a little dark or like too bright and I have the glossy paper, then I don't think it reads the, the registration marks correctly. So I don't know. Like I always have a struggle um, when I'm like... Not always, but like I, I sometimes struggle um printing them or like cutting them so i will have to hand cut them and if it's like a sticker sheet then it's a little tough because i don't want them to cut all the way through and if it doesn't register then i will have to hand cut them and then they will be like small individual stickers so anyway trial and error i'm still practicing learning so hopefully one day i'll get better so my friend um, put in an order and I wanted to give her a few other stickers. Since she has a dog, I made like some simple stickers with her dog and yeah, I'll, I'm going to include them in the package. I do make like stickers like these and some other ones for uh, pets. So if you are interested, check them out in my Instagram or in my shop. Try to fit as many as possible in a sheet. So since I have some extra space, I'm going to do some other stickers.
cute. So these are the ones that I have on my shelf. I actually painted these, or actually this one, on, on a wood ornament. This one. And I wanted to make it into a sticker. So I drew this on my iPad on Procreate. And I wanted to give it, like, the painting feeling. So it has, like, these rough... I guess you would say rough marks or like brush brush strokes so yeah kind of different in the colors but I like both of them and the ones for my friend look so cute momo these are matte um, weatherproof stickers so you can put them on like your water bottle and wash them and they should still be fine. Yep, so I'll give these to her too. I also made these little note cards um, that I usually write thank you notes on and I just have the pink there. I made these thank you stickers but they're so small so I'm gonna have to make them bigger next time. Good morning! Happy Saturday! So yesterday, I took pictures of the sticker sheets and uploaded them on my shop. And my friend ordered some of them and some other stickers. So I'm going to pack them, hopefully get them out today. You know that they ought to behave differently. Now this is really so peculiar that one is tempted to try to explain. the studio vlog here the first one thank you all for watching it feels weird to call it a studio vlog but yeah thank you for watching um i hope you come back for more <laughs> and have a good rest of the week <laughs>